I just came back from South Sudan where I worked in a town called Awil for the last nine months where MSF runs a mother-child hospital. It's a really remote area when telemedicine really helped us out with providing improved patient care. One particular example was a pregnant woman that came in. She was about six months pregnant and she was extremely short of breath. She needed oxygen and we needed to help her right away. We did an ultrasound of her lungs and her heart. And in her heart, we thought we saw a problem with one of the valves, but none of us are cardiologists. So what we did is we sent the ultrasound clips to the telemedicine doctor in Canada, who then sent it off to a cardiologist in the U.S. And he diagnosed what's called mitral stenosis. This is a really dangerous problem, especially in pregnancy, and many women die of it. And we talked with our uh, specialists in uh, Paris, who was an anesthesiologist, and our obstetrician specialist in Australia to make a plan. And what they recommended was that we do an elective C-section, but also that we recommend a tubal ligation for her, because any further pregnancies and with this heart disease, she could have a higher risk of death. And in a country like South Sudan, where women are expected to be childbearing, this is a really aggressive recommendation to give to a patient. And if we didn't have the support of telemedicine and the confirmation from a cardiologist that in fact it was this heart, uh, this valve disease, we wouldn't have had the confidence to give her this recommendation. She agreed to have the C-section, and in fact she had agreed to have the tubal ligation. And she went through the procedure, she did wonderfully. The whole team did really well with the procedure, and she ended up having a beautiful young girl. Some of these patients have rashes that we don't understand. Sometimes it's very young infants with what may be syphilis, but we're not completely sure. But also it can be patients that have x-rays and we suspect there may be a fracture. And if we were in the United States or in Europe, it would be easy to send the patient to a dermatologist or a radiologist and get an expert opinion really quickly. But we don't have that opportunity in a place like Awil. And so what we do is we send the information to telemedicine. And it's amazing because no matter what time of the day we send it, the allocators are working 24 hours a day and they're able to quickly send it to a specialist who then gives us back some response. On the one hand, when we get an answer from a specialist, it helps us treat our patients better. And that's the most important. But on the other hand, even when the specialist says that they're not exactly sure what's going on, that is psychologically incredibly helpful to us. We work in such resource limited areas that patients die. Even if you're an experienced clinician, you start to doubt yourself and you start to lose a little bit confidence in your own capacity. Professionally, my favorite thing is to work in the field and work at the bedside with patients. And having telemedicine, having the capacity to ask specialists only enhances that professional enjoyment because now I can do more for the patients. And so to be able to reach out to people and to have better and quicker answers is a huge help.